Once you have the CAD Faster plugin installed, you'll be ready to export to an executable or directly to an iPad via the CAD Faster cloud. Here we'll go to the CAD Faster menu and click Settings. Here we can control all of the settings for the export. Top left, you'll see we can adjust the model's expiration time. This is how long the model will allow you to open it before it no longer does. Or you can check to have the model never expire. Here we can log in to our CAD Faster account, which currently uses Google's OpenID system. You'll see what account you're logged into here, and the quota you have available on the cloud. Here you can choose how you want to export the file, either an EXE for a Windows machine, an iPad, or both. Once we save our settings, we'll go ahead and save our file. Once the file exports, we'll be able to open it here as an EXE file on a Windows machine. At the top left, you have options for what display type you'd like to use, either shaded with edges or just shaded. Remember here that only colors will come across, not textures. Here we have the different flyover tool modes. These are much like the flyover tool. However, we'll go over these in more detail in another video. The Fit to All option allows us to go back to a standard view. If we click Section View, we can create a live section of our model any direction we'd like. Here we'll go from the end, and we'll zoom in and see our section cuts through all geometry. When we're done, we'll reset and Fit to All. Here we can choose our standard views, much like you can in Vectorworks. These all correspond with the views in Vectorworks. You can measure objects as well with snapping. Here we'll go to a front view and zoom in on this window and take a measurement of its width and its height. You can either click and hold to measure or if you click and double click it'll keep the measurement on screen so that you can use it in relation to another measurement. Here we can show the statistics of this file, both how fast the file is actually moving, the current frame rate per second, and how many visible objects are currently available. You'll see as I rotate this down, the bottom area covers up the top and the visible components reduces. Here we can adjust the image quality. If your computer is having trouble running CAD faster, you can turn this to best performance. For higher quality, best image quality but a best option is between both. Here we can host a session and we'll have another user here join us looking at this model on an iPad. We'll see the connected clients and we'll start the session. As you can see here, when I rotate the model, it will rotate to align on the iPad as well in real time. We'll zoom in and we'll make an annotation here. We'll add a markup with a remark about the downspout location. I'll click the checkbox to confirm it and the iPad user can go out and see that the new markup has been added. Once they click on that, they'll be able to see the remark and reply directly to it from within the app. Once they complete their markup, they'll be able to click done the markup will be added both on their screen and I will see it updated in CAD Faster on Windows as well. Thank you for joining us and don't forget to visit the community section of the Vectorworks website for more third-party plugin information.